Welcome to the 10th Annual STEM Career Day. This event was designed to ignite the passion for STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and math. About 40 exhibitors were here to engage with 1,100 students from 36 schools in eight different North State counties. My favorite part of the Career Day Fair was the Air Force booth. It's really cool to like, ask the guys questions and learn about the Air Force. My favorite part of STEM Day, probably seeing the, all the other different engineering jobs and also technology jobs. It was really cool to learn how AI is made, what they use it for. Our keynote speaker was NASA engineer Adam Zufall, who graduated from a local school right here in the North State. Creating a space program takes a lot of different skill set. It takes engineers to build the space vehicles. It takes psychologists to keep us mentally healthy. It takes people to pour the concrete to make a launch pad. Like it takes skills of all kinds. And so you can find that passion, find that thing that you are good at and the piece that you contribute to this grander vision. This year's STEM challenge is straw powered rockets. What they'll be learning is how to design a straw rocket. They'll make multiple iterations of their design until they come up with the optimal one. Shoot that thing and they need to make it go far and have a great ratio of weight to distance. I love the STEM project. Me and my team made a rocket. We went through a lot of different trials and errors, but we finally got it to go a distance we liked. I'm here to talk about uh, radio astronomy and radio astronomy instrumentation. There's a radio telescope at the observatory that we use for radio astronomy science. We're going to talk to the kids about something small related to radio astronomy and something big. Our Anderson Fab Shop does mechanical engineering, electrical and controls for all of our sawmills. Um, we have extensive um, engineering department at Sierra Pacific and we're trying to get kids interested in joining our team. I'm here today just talking with students, letting them know that they can get a local education here in the STEM related field that they can take on and further their um, aspirational goals. So the Space Force's mission is offensive and defensive space. Uh, we have a lot of different missions as far as launch, satellite, development of those missions, uh, and also uh, ground ground sensing and cyber. Things that we're talking about with the kids here are the Vandergraaff, which is a demonstration in static electricity, and also the different levels of um, power consumption or efficiency among different types of light. Our display today uh, is using augmented reality, where we have uh, NASA data sets that we pull in. We use uh, Microsoft HoloLenses for kids to be able to observe what some of these space missions are all about. And for today, we actually have one that is a, an actual size Mars rover that kids will put on a, an augmented reality hollow lens and be able to walk around in this environment here and see in an augmented reality space, the actual real size rover. 